Hello friends and welcome to this session. In the last session of the EKS uh, cluster creations using the EKS CTL utility, we have seen that we created the cluster and by default we created the you know, two worker node. Okay, and this is the client where we have the all the things like uh, EKS CTL. Uh, sorry, Cube CTL utility and EKS, uh, EKS CTL and uh, AWS CLI, all things are installed in this particular machine from where we are launching the EKS cluster. Okay, so in this particular session, we are going to see how we can scale the node group of the EKS cluster, means that we are going to add a two worker node group and that will be the part of that uh, cluster. So sometimes there is a requirement of a scaling up and scaling down the worker node group so in this particular sessions we are going to see how we can scale up and scale down using the eks cluster if you have seen my past video you can you can find that i created the cluster the eks cluster using the imperative command like eks ctl okay create cluster and then we provided the name like alok devops this is the name of the uh, cluster and the reason in which i am going to create the reason will be ap south the mumbai reason south one and the node that i am going to use node type will be the t2 dot small Okay, so this is the imperative way, uh, but uh, I created today uh, again the cluster with the same name Alok DevOps in the same reason, but using the uh, declarative way. So I am going to show you, I am not going to create it because it's already created. If you see here, the cluster is already up and working. So we have two nodes. Uh, if you go to the auto scaling groups, you can find that the two in desired instance is required and two instance is running. Min max is also two, and it's uh, both are running in the AP South Mumbai region. Okay, so this is fine. So we have the scaling group associated, which uh, launching the instance scale up and scale down. So this is this is a kind of horizontal scaling. In the vertical scaling, we just um, enhance the CPU and the, all those things. In the in the horizontal scaling, we just uh, place a new uh, worker node uh, in in a, in a in a same horizontal level. Okay. So uh, in this particular session, uh, for this particular session, I created a. Uh, uh, the declared created the cluster in the declarative way okay so if you see this file so you, you can find uh, this is the declarative way syntax and uh, this is the same syntax uh, which uh, the eks ctl site uh, refers so i just copy and paste uh, till here and i just uh, for the desired capacity i added uh, uh, two here okay so if you refer to okay and how you can um, uh, you just need to create it with the yaml extension and how you can um, use it uh, in the in the similar way uh, like eks okay eks ctl and create uh, cluster cluster uh, and then you have to provide the name of the that particular file and it will create a cluster so cluster is already created and uh, this is i already uh, this i i'm just showing for you for your um, information that uh, this is the declarative way through which you can create a cluster in the last session we created a cluster in the imperative way okay so now the cluster is uh, created and working fine we already seen that uh, we have the two worker node and uh, here you can see the in the instance also the ec2 dashboard we have three running instance one is the launcher one the client where from where we are triggering this is the system uh, 248 if you see my instance ip last um, 2480 it's a uh, from where we are triggering the uh, command okay and this is the worker node so if you run here the cube ctl get node you can find here the two uh, worker node okay 248 and 196 this one okay so bo both both are um, currently up 
so what we are going to do uh, we are going to scale it now i will, there is a requirement that we don't require two uh, worker nodes we have to create a four worker nodes so how we can going to do this uh, through the command we have to write uh, and uh, one more thing uh, like uh, for the uh, cluster how we can identify that uh, how many cluster is running in a, in your particular region you have to write as uh, eks ctl get cluster cluster and then you have to provide the reason okay ap south one so it will provide you that uh, one cluster is currently up and running that is the name name have the a alloc devops okay so now we are going to scale up uh, uh, this particular uh, uh, instance so we just need to uh, query for the node group so how many node groups it have we have only one but we we can execute command to check this get node group and again the reason ap south one and the name of the cluster is alloc devops okay so it will provide you the uh, the node group okay this is the the same as we have here the auto scaling groups it's a node group okay so it will launch a new instance uh, when the requirement gets changed okay so now i'm going to change my requirements so i required four uh, uh, worker node not two okay and that will be the part of the eks cluster okay kubernetes cluster eks ctl scale we have to scale okay node group and the cluster name is alloc devops okay and the node requirements is of four okay and the node maximum node is also four and the name of the node group is ng one this is the node group name okay ng1 and the reason is ap south one okay so it will scale uh, that particular uh, group okay scaling node group now it's changed to four we have to uh, verify it so you can see that the desired is got changed and it's updated okay so soon we will see uh, the spin up of the new uh, instance so here we can find the new instance will get launched in few minutes okay i keep on refreshing so the auto scaling groups you can identify from here as well now the desired instance is four min is two okay so it's going to change it very soon so i'm going to trigger some queries qctl get nodes so currently we have uh, only two soon we will going to see more instance the worker so you can find that uh, when i refreshed it again within a few minutes few more uh, worker node groups so we have now four worker node groups and we can see that uh, worker node group using the command as well okay so to already spin up and it's not adding now it's going to the part of the cluster so internally it's executing few commands to be part of that cluster so soon you will find it in the ready state Uh, let me add watch so you can find that it's a uh, uh, it's in the ready state okay uh, kill the watch so all the four uh, worker node is the part of the cluster and all the things looks good 
okay so now the requirement gets changed again so let it complete okay so now all the uh, all the worker node is initialized properly and the part that will be part of the cluster as well now the requirements get changed and and i want only a single instance okay uh, or there is a requirement of uh, only requirement of only three worker nodes so we are going to again scale down uh, using the same commands so it will be very fast uh, what we required we required only the three worker worker instance the max is also three and it's a, a scale down so uh, we can see few activities here it will going to update it so soon you can find that the three instance uh, but one more thing so that I, I want to highlight uh, that is the cooldown period so every work instance when you decrease the instance at that time there will be a cooldown period so that uh, all the nodes will get shifted to the all the ports will get shifted to the other node other work, uh, working node okay that will be the part of replica set if there is a standalone port that uh, that in that particular uh, node worker uh, worker group uh, instance that will be get killed okay it will not uh, come up but uh, if the pod is the part of the replica sets or in the deployment so it will move it to the uh, other worker node which is working properly okay so there is a cooldown period if you click on the auto scaling group you can find that uh, there must be a cooldown period so here is the default cooldown period of the five minutes okay so we have to wait until uh, five minutes or we can edit it to uh, just 10 seconds to just see the changes because we are scaling down okay so now okay the three instance and the desired is three what up, up about the ec2 instance okay so you can see that uh, we have now three only okay so one uh, worker node is uh, get down because i decreases the cooldown period otherwise we have to wait for the five minutes okay and uh, now i go I'm going to see the qct here get no okay so we have uh, only three um, uh, worker node so that's it for this um, session this session is only about the scaling of the node group of the EKS cluster so hope you like uh, this video and if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please do subscribe it and uh, this will always motivate me and share it with, with your friends as well and gives me a thumbs up thank you thank you for watching this video have a nice day